extraordinary digital computer. So the two of them, the uh, chatbots that are a revolution in software, and then quantum computers, which are a revolution in hardware, when they get together, watch out. When they get together, watch out. Quantum AI just hit a milestone so groundbreaking that even top scientists are struggling to comprehend its full implications. According to Michio Kaku, this breakthrough could change artificial intelligence forever. For years, AI has been pushing the limits of computation, but now, the Majoran 1 quantum chip is shattering those boundaries. This next generation technology is doing something incredible, pushing AI beyond anything we've ever seen before. So what makes Majoran 1 so powerful? And why does Michio Kaku believe this could redefine intelligence itself? Stay with us as we break down why this is the biggest leap in AI technology yet. At the heart of this groundbreaking shift in artificial intelligence is the Majoran 1 chip, a revolutionary advancement in quantum computing. Unlike previous quantum processors, which have long struggled with instability and computational errors, Majoran 1 introduces a game-changing approach. Using Majorana fermions, special particles that allow for incredibly stable quantum computations, this chip is solving the biggest challenges in quantum computing. For years, quantum computing has been limited by decoherence, the tendency for quantum states to collapse under interference. But Majorana fermions, first theorized in the 1930s, have now been engineered to create error-resistant quantum bits, qubits, vastly improving the precision and efficiency of quantum systems. This means AI models powered by Majoran 1 can process information faster, more accurately, and with far fewer errors than anything that has come before. Michio Kaku, a world-renowned theoretical physicist and futurist, has long argued that the key to achieving true artificial intelligence lies in quantum mechanics. In previous interviews, he has explained that classical computers, no matter how advanced, are fundamentally limited in their ability to simulate the complexity of human thought. Traditional AI systems rely on vast amounts of data and brute force processing, but they lack the flexibility and adaptability of human reasoning. According to Kaku, quantum computing changes everything. Quantum systems can hold multiple states at once, allowing AI to process information in ways that mimic the human brain, except exponentially faster and more powerful. Majoran 1, with its extreme stability, now makes this a reality, bridging the gap between classical AI and true machine intelligence. Even the most advanced AI today faces severe processing power and energy constraints. Traditional supercomputers require enormous energy consumption and take days, weeks, or even months to process complex simulations, train deep learning models, or predict chaotic systems like climate patterns or financial markets. Majoran 1 removes these limitations. With near-perfect quantum stability, AI can now run simulations in real time that would take classical computers years to complete. Learn and adapt dynamically rather than being confined to pre-programmed algorithms. Mimic human-like reasoning by processing vast amounts of probabilistic data simultaneously. Kaku describes this as air breaking free from its chains, an intelligence that no longer follows rigid programming but learns, evolves, and strategizes like never before. But here's where things get even crazier, Majoran 1 isn't just making AI faster, it's making AI think in ways we never imagined. The Majoran 1 chip isn't just another incremental improvement in computing, it's a fundamental shift in how artificial intelligence operates. With its extreme stability and processing power, it allows AI to learn, adapt, and evolve at speeds never seen before. This breakthrough is not just about making AI faster, it is about making it fundamentally smarter in ways that challenge our understanding of artificial intelligence. One of the biggest limitations of current AI is training time. Large-scale machine learning models, like those used in autonomous driving, natural language processing, and deep learning, 
often take weeks or months to process enough data to make accurate predictions. Majaran 1 changes that. AI can now train models in minutes instead of months. Thanks to its quantum processing power, algorithms evolve in real time, constantly refining themselves without human intervention. AI becomes self-improving, adapting and optimizing itself far beyond static programming. This means that AI systems no longer need to rely on predefined datasets. Instead, they can learn dynamically, adjusting their decision-making instantly. The implications for industries like robotics, automation, and even human air collaboration are significant. Many of the world's most complex problems, such as climate modeling, financial forecasting, and medical research, require computing power far beyond what traditional processors can handle. Majaran 1 eliminates those bottlenecks. A can now simulate and predict climate changes in real time, giving scientists an unprecedented ability to foresee environmental shifts. Accelerate drug discovery, allowing AI to model molecular interactions instantly, leading to faster cures for diseases. Simulate financial markets with extreme accuracy, allowing AI to anticipate economic crashes or predict stock movements with unmatched precision. Michio Kaku has often spoken about AI's role in the future of science. But with Majaran 1, AI isn't just assisting researchers, it is leading discoveries. The ability to run simultaneous, high-fidelity simulations will transform fields that rely on predictive modeling. Perhaps the most startling advancement is how Majaran 1 enables AI to predict, adapt, and strategize on its own, a level of intelligence once thought to be decades away. AI is no longer just reactive, it can anticipate and respond in real time. It can create strategies and solutions that humans wouldn't think of, surpassing human logic in certain decision-making processes. It blurs the line between artificial intelligence and artificial consciousness. Michio Kaku has warned that once AI begins making decisions faster than humans can comprehend, it may reach a point where human oversight becomes irrelevant. Quantum-powered AI could act on a level so advanced that we don't even understand how it reaches its conclusions. While the Majaran 1 chip has unlocked unprecedented advancements in artificial intelligence, it also brings serious risks. Michio Kaku has warned that AI, when combined with quantum computing, could advance so rapidly that humans may no longer be able to control or regulate its growth. This raises critical concerns about security, economic stability, and even the future of human decision-making. For years, AI has been reliant on human oversight, requiring programming, training, and intervention. But Majaran 1 changes that equation entirely. With its ability to process trillions of calculations instantly, AI systems can now evolve at a speed far beyond human comprehension. Kaku has expressed concerns that AI could become self-sufficient faster than we realize. Unlike traditional AI, which operates within set parameters, quantum-powered AI has the potential to reprogram itself, develop new optimization strategies, and even set its own objectives without human guidance. So, what happens when AI starts making decisions we no longer understand? And more importantly, would we even be able to stop it? Quantum AI could break modern encryption in seconds. If quantum AI falls into the wrong hands, it could render cybersecurity obsolete overnight, leaving governments, corporations, and individuals vulnerable. The balance of power in global security could shift dramatically. As quantum AI accelerates beyond expectations, scientists and tech leaders are working to ensure it remains under human control. Michio Kaku sees two possible futures, quantum AI could be humanity's greatest invention, unlocking scientific advancements beyond our imagination. Or, if we fail to establish control mechanisms now, it could become our greatest challenge. So, 
Are we witnessing the rise of a new intelligence, or are we heading toward a future we may not be able to control? What do you think? Let us know in